We want to go from working with this to working with this. So Lilla Viking asked me how to handle HDR footage shot on an iPhone and Premiere Pro. If you've been shooting with your iPhone in HDR mode, especially in Dolby Vision, if you don't have your settings right, you might have noticed your footage looks a bit different in Premiere than compared to what you see when reviewing it on your phone. There are two crucial things we need to look at. Adjusting our color space and managing our HDR graphics white settings. First up, let's talk about color space. If you've heard terms like Rec 709 and Rec 2020 and felt confused, don't worry, you're not alone. Color space basically defines the range of colors your footage can display. HDR footage, like the stuff you shoot on your iPhone, is shot in Rec 2020. Rec 2020 is a much wider color space than Rec 709, which is what most standard video uses. Think of it as if you were upgrading from eight cans of spray paint to 64 colors. The difference is huge. This wider color space means your footage will have more vibrant and true to life colors, especially in bright scenes or with intense highlights where color information can really drop off. So let's jump into Premiere. So here we are in uh, 2024. I'm gonna take a clip here. I'm gonna plop it into a new sequence. So your layout might look a little bit different than mine. I've got mine since I shot some of this vertical. I got mine in window, workspace, vertical. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna check out my sequence settings. You might think that you want to do this HLD Rec 2100 since the footage is Rec 2020, but actually in our color working space, we want Rec 709. The other thing that we want to do is we want to change this, uh, make sure that this maximum bit depth is checked. Boom, you can already see that our colors have got a little better from just that one adjustment. It's pretty darn close actually, right out the gate here. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hop over into Lumetri Color and then into our settings here. Let's check out some of this stuff. So the first thing I wanna look at is I wanna make sure that my viewer gamma is set to QuickTime. If you're exporting for YouTube, for web, for social, all that stuff, basically devices, you wanna do this QuickTime. Broadcast, you know, if you're going for TV or whatever, but now we're almost always in this 1.96 viewer gamma. Second, you might think that you wanna override this color space since iPhone footage is Rec 2020 with this Rec 2020, but oh no, it gets nasty fast. The other thing is we lose some settings down here that we're gonna to wanna to work with. So let's change that back to use media color space. And then the other thing I really wanna check is I generally wanna crank this all the way up, this highlight saturation. So that pretty much gets us really close. The one last setting that I wanna talk about is this HDR graphic whites. When you bring this up, it will probably be set to 203. Now, the clip settings, are going to apply to all clip instances. That means every time you've used this clip, but it's not gonna apply to the entire sequence. However, this uh, HDR graphic white setting, this does apply to the entire sequence. So when you're making the decision, and I found that with some footage, I feel like the 203 looks better, and with some footage, I think that the 300 looks better. For example, on this, this particular clip, I think the 300 looks more true to the stuff that we shot. But if you've got various clips in here, maybe you're using some Rec 709 actual footage from a camera, maybe you're mixing medias, or maybe you shot in different lighting environments, what I suggest is to watch the entire sequence with a 203 and the entire sequence with a 300 and really let that dictate what you put that setting to. Now, obviously we can go into our colors and we can adjust things like our highlights and our, you know, our curves and whatnot. So it's really about just getting it to that starting point that we like. Basically, that's really about it. We wanna make sure that we got the 1.96 viewer gamma and that goes not just for this footage, but pretty much everything you're editing. This is a little secret tip in here when you wanna export your videos the way that you see them. 
in Premiere, you wanna make sure that that is at 1.96. We wanna use our color space of our source clip, and then we wanna keep our Rec 709 as our sequence. We wanna pretty much almost always crank up this highlight saturation, and then again, with the uh, HDR graphic white setting, you might want that at 203, you might that want that at 300, and that's just on a case-by-case -case basis. So that's really it. You're ready to cut, you're ready to rock and roll, and oh my God, this footage looks so beautiful. I can't believe it shot with an iPhone. It's like, it's literally gorgeous. If this video helped, do me a favor and hit that like button. And I'm also trying to get up to a thousand subs, so if you'd like to subscribe, that would be amazing too. Thank you so much for watching.